Hey guys! To celebrate my Fit Fabulous and Famous Academy, I'm interviewing Amanda fucking Palmer! Stick around until the end to find out a new way that you can pay me to like one of your posts. Amanda, tell us, how did you become famous? We were never invited to the party. And we were, you know, we were a posse and we were like, fuck your party. We have our own party. Oh, a hype house. How do you deal with stardom? The only way to actually like navigate through that insanity is to work. This is what I've found. A lot of people just like, once the circus happens, like, that's it. The making's over and the circus begins and goodbye. You will never be seen as a maker again. Ugh, yeah, it's so hard to keep a posting schedule. What do you think made you famous? The ability to go there, like, straight into the dark. Oh, a good personality. I just cried all the time. Amanda, that's not good for your skin, but I can help. Guys, fix your face cream defies wrinkles and humanity. 20% off with promo code Candice. You've got to be a fucking ninja to, <laughs> to walk that path and get there and still be well-adjusted, happy, with love, with friends, with a sense of peace. Yeah, ninja is huge on TikTok. Well, what strategies did you use to become famous? Help us find some hacks. You can just like play your hits and laminate yourself and try to give people what they want. Or you can like stumble into the dark, keep it real and hope that it fucking works. That gives me an idea for a new dance. It's so freaky to me right now. And I, I have actually been talking about this a lot with, especially with select friends who are my age group. We grew up our posse. Comment pod. Which is to say like the indie alternative punk, whatever, like, you know, the other. And we just had a code of non-commercialism. We just had an understanding that like selling out was fucking stupid. You don't do ads. You don't do sponsorship, like you just don't. You don't even discuss that. But not even in your brand deal mastermind group? It's not part of this world. And why is obvious. It is? Like you don't use your art to sell their product. That's what we're fighting against. Are you stupid? No, I'm an influencer. And this was so obvious to all of us. It was just part of the code of ethics. Would you rather sell your soul to Doritos or Oakley sunglasses or Ford? Yes. It all seems so obvious to me. That the point of getting famous is to get a brand deal. The other iterations, the Doritos, the labels, the publishers, whatever. The goal? is like, these people are gonna help you get my thing, you're gonna give them some money, they're gonna split it up, they're gonna give me a cut. But once you get down to like, fuck Doritos. Well, I wouldn't eat the Doritos. You get to just be free. When you get a brand deal. Oh, before you ruin your face, Amanda, what is one thing you want everyone to know about you? It's not true to say, I don't give a fuck about what people think about me. I give every fucking fuck about what people think about me. That's why this is so important. And I'm willing to be really honest about that. I want people to understand me. I want what everybody wants. I want to be seen and loved and connected and not alone. Thank you. Brought to you by Skinny Tea. Drink tea and get skinny. Fuck these people.